Okay, I'm just going to show you the uh, basic steps for installing C Electrical V8R1. So this is the same steps for the basic, standard and advanced versions. So I'm just going to run the install program. As the installation routine begins, it checks if you have enough space and also the requirements. So it checks if you have Microsoft Windows .NET 4.5 installed. If you haven't, you will need to download that and install it. So we can go to next, accept the terms of the license agreement, click on next, enter your details. You can go for a custom install, I'm just going to show the complete install here. And we go to next and install. Not a lot of options there. Um, the program installs in, um, if it's a 64-bit machine, in the program files x86 folder into the IGE plus XAO and then into a C Electrical V8R1 folder. Um, the data files, that's the symbols, templates and projects, install into the user um, public documents folder. Okay, so it's updating the component registration. Generating scripts, copying the files over. A short while whilst it copies the new files. And almost up to the last bit here, installing the HASP drivers, which is if you happen to have a hardware dongle, a USB dongle, then that's got the drivers for that. So removing the backup files and the icon is now on there. Job done. So if we go to finish, that's our finished icon. Let's double click to go into the software. And straight into the software. Um, you may find when you start the software for the first time that you get license your software as an option. You can either license the software now or test for 30 days. And if that's the case, you can click on finish and you can work away, create as many projects as you like with up to three page maximum per project. If you do have your license information, then it's a question of clicking on license. License your software now. You put in your details there go to next and you say probably most common is that you're protected by a software key which is just a serial number you go to next license from internet is the most common probably next and then you put in your details followed by license on internet and you then add your password and you can then click on license as you click on license you need to scroll up and check that the information has been uh, that the server has been contacted and that you've got the code for the modules that you purchased. If you've got a message saying it's not uh, received an unlock, unlock code, then it's probably because you don't have that, that module actually uh, having been purchased. So we can close that, click on finish, and you're away with the licensed version of the software. So you can go to file new, start creating new projects, or file open to edit them.